one, I have, um, I need to write the equation y equals x squared plus 8x plus 7 in the form y equals a times x minus h squared plus k. This, this form is called vertex form, right? Okay, so, um, so there's, there's really two approaches to this, to this question. Um, one approach, which would be the, the plotting approach, which is the approach that I normally take, would be to um, take this here and, and complete the square, and you know, then I'll end up with this form here. If I complete the square, I can kind of do all that rigmarole to do that. But then on the um, one of the last exams, um, several of the brighter than me students um, came up with an easier way of doing this, right? which was to um, to find out what the vertex is, and then just plug it into the vertex form. Right. So let's do it that way first. So if I have ax squared plus bx plus c, what's my vertex? Remember the vertex? So let's um, let's let's look at the, the, the quadratic formula minus b plus or minus. Right, quadratic formula, right? And, and so everybody remembers that everything, if all quadratic equations, they graph up as a parabola, right? So I could actually write this as um, negative b over 2a plus or minus the square root of b squared minus 4ac over 2a. I could do that, couldn't I? Yeah. Right? So if everything is a, um, if every quadratic graph is a parabola, then this has to be my axis of symmetry, because that's where, and then this value here for x is going to be on exactly on either side of my axis of symmetry. Here's, here's my point um, negative b over 2a, and I have one x-intercept at positive b squared over 4ac over 2a, and one point x-intercept <coughs> on the other side, negative, right? Does that make sense? Right? So this is an easy way to remember, because everybody remembers a quadratic formula. Especially when we have people dancing to it and everything, right? So, uh, uh, so, so this is an easy way to remember how to figure out the vertex. Just take your minus b part of it, put it over 2a, and there's your vertex, right? Okay. So, so with, uh, after saying all that, let's uh, find the, ver the vertex would be negative, negative 8 mm -hmm. over 2 times 1 over 2, so it's going to be equal to negative 4. That's my, that's my vertex. That's my axis of symmetry, excuse me, my axis of symmetry. Is that what it is? So, so my y is equal to negative 4 squared plus 8 times negative 4 plus 7. And what does that simplify out to be? Negative 9. Negative 9. So y equals negative 9. So I, I now have uh, my vertex. So. Um, I have y is equal to a times um, x minus negative 4 plus k, which is negative 9. You forgot the square. Thank you. So y is equal to a times x plus 4 minus 9. What, what, squared. Thank you. What do I do? What do I, how do I find out what my A is? I don't have an A. Are you sure? It's one. I think so. So I have Y is equal to X plus 4 squared minus 9. How would you know he did have an A? There's, there, there's no way. Yeah. Yes? So 
So 53, we're going to simplify this. 6x squared over y cubed times y to the negative 2, x to the third, <coughs> over 9x squared. Okay. So, you know, when I'm, it's actually kind of a little bit tricky to put the multiplication sign in there because it's really irrelevant. I mean, I, I could rewrite this whole thing as just, you know, one expression, 6x squared y, y to the negative 2x to the third. I don't really need that multiplication sign in there. Just, just like if I wanted to, I could put multiplication signs between, you know, each of these terms and, and it would be the same thing. Everybody follow what I'm talking about here? Okay, so, so my, um, my approach to this is to, uh, well, try and simplify things as much as I can quickly. Well, one thing I can see immediately is I have an x squared on the top and an x squared on the bottom, so I got rid of those. And, um, and I see I have a 6 and a 9, so I'm going to change that to a 3 and that to a 2. So I have 2y to the negative 2x cubed over 3y <coughs> cubed. I don't want to do too many things to it too quickly, otherwise I'll forget what I'm doing. And uh, so I have a y to the negative 2. I, I can't have any negative exponents if I'm simplifying it, so I'm going to have, I'm going to move that to the bottom. So I'm going to have at the top left 2x cubed over 3y cubed and then y squared. And my y cubed and my y squared, they can be added together because they have a similar base. So I'm going to have 2x cubed over 3y to the fifth. And I, I can't simplify that anymore. I can't mess around with the exponents on the x and the y because they're different bases. So that's about as far as I can take it. Did I get the right answer? Yeah. Okay. Okay. Thank you.